What is up guys, my name is Creator. Welcome back to another gameplay of Hogwarts Legacy and this will be the part 19. Alright. So yeah, sit back and enjoy the gameplay that I'm about to show you guys. But before we begin, previously on Hogwarts Legacy. Hello, Madam Mason. I understand you have a shop to sell. Why, yes. Yes, I do. Are you interested? Tell you what, I shall sell you this space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Hmm. An exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? That's odd. Why would someone store one hat in here? Well, that's not very hospitable. Oh, goody! Someone to play with! You seem to have your wits about you. What fun this will be! Oh, you've come so far, so quickly. Well done. You might be just the playmate I've been looking for. Aha! Finally! You, my inordinately clever friend, appear to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant, Cassandra. It's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now, they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> ah! Okay, that is it. Ma'am, do you know that I've been fighting with poachers, night? I've made a name for myself. You know who am I? I'm Queen Spectre. Alright, in part 18, we got ourselves a new summer update, which consists of a new quest, new outfit, new potion, new ride, and a new broom. The quest will be mind your business it's a good side quest so it's great but freaking mannequin man i truly hate that <laughs> but the quest was fun we got ourselves a new shop and a potion which is felix felicius i guess that's how you pronounce it <laughs> also known as liquid luck we got ourselves a new ride which is the onyx hippogriff that beast looks stunning as hell he got a blue eyes and a black feather I should call him Midnight, but his name is Caligro. Hey, it is what it is. I think we can change his name. And a new broom, which is the Lavender Burles Broom. That's great, but that update comes with a price. Keeps on crashing my game, man. <laughs> but hey, we finished that that part. So yeah, let's focus on this. Yeah, let's let's try to be positive today. I'm gonna do a bunch of the main quests. I think it's been far too long for me to grind. Right now I'm at level 31. And most of my talents have been upgraded. So yeah. It's time to finish this game, don't you think? Alright, Amit. How you doing? Hello there. Oh, Obi-Wan? Hello, Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Yeah, have you never met a goblin before? Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no! I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Alright, let's 
cool, I guess. Okay, sure. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Wait a minute. See you there. Lord Gok. How have you been doing, my friend? A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Damn. So it was a useless effort? Damn. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, yeah, I mean... Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door, or a loitering loyalist. Fine. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. Man, this is the I second see time. You soon. Yeah, fine, fine. It's the second time, man. We gotta retrieve something, but you can't follow us. You are fishy, my boy. But hey, you are the only clue we have to find on... What Lord Gok wants with the ancient magic or the, the repository? Oh, what's this? The door is looking at us. What the hell? Okay, sure. Fine. Uh. I mean, you gotta cast this. The disillusionment charm. Yes, of course. Thank you. Thank you, Amin. Princess me. Oh, that was aggressive. The mind's eye. Alright. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. 
You are fascinated by this? I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Uh. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Revelio. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. These machines operate on steam. Interesting. Can bring up. Well, first try. Let's go. I'm in. I mean, I, I'm not sure this is a good plan, but prepare yourself, right? I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin. Okay. Um. Oh. Revelio. And what can I get it? Okay, never mind. Now it's not time to be greedy, I've right? About mines like this. Something else altogether. Of course. Okay, come on, I mean, I mean, good job. I'm not sure about your prowess on battling, so you need to be careful. As I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as oh, sh got, to say the least. I'm quite good at sneaking about. You'll see. Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's see. Who's that? Uh, you know what? I mean, where are those plans gone? Let's battle. Schematics in my hand a moment ago. Let us through here safely, I'll meet. You have my word. Oh, damn it. I mean, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. This thing is annoying. We need to use this illusion, man. So. I'll be quiet. Wait, why are we pulling that? It's just water, right? Yeah. Uh, forget about it. Let's go. So there's a chest on top. Is that good enough? Nope. Well, never mind. I mean, let's go. What's this? Got a coin, baby. What? More coins. Nice. What? More co no, there's no more coins. Okay. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Oh yeah. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. Oh, Bound to be plans yeah. around here some a schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. Shh. There must be more notes around here. Ravelli, who could they be building? I don't I don't know, Amit. Oh, okay, one, two, three. That's easy. Yeah, I'm in. Ready? Hello? Oh, damn it. Power. Hmm. One less shimmer to wipe us out. I just walk right beside that crate and then they explode. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so much for sneakiness, huh? Yeah, I mean, here. Yeah. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. 
That's not important, I mean. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Oh, bruh. Seriously. Wait, what's that? Uh, maybe right through here. I mean, come on. What about this, I mean? If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty headed. Oh god, I mean. I mean, we gotta fight. Ready? Alright. Hey, what's up, boys? Just as I thought. Oh, missed it. Ah. Okay, that that that's not cost you. Oh shit, it's more. Is there more? Where is it? I mean, are we in the clear? Oh. Oh, this really is too much. Stay Chill close. on this. Yeah. Do much worse. <laughs> Another boiler. Oh. This place is more complex. Than I Akio. Is this supposed to go? Oh. Okay, cool. I mean, I mean, all right, cool. I mean, don't worry. I mean, I, I am some sort of proficient in this, so yeah. Oh. Use Mandrake. Where's the rest? This is here. Oh, shit. Let's get this over with. Good for you. Oh. Ah. Yeah, How many of them are there? That should be the last of them, I'll meet. Wait, we need to use this. Clever. Let's go, I mean. Get a coin. I don't care much about items right now. Can always come back here. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodcock what we found. Are ready, I mean? What? Is there a shortcut? Really hope so. Akio. Why is it not moving? I mean, why is it, it not moving? Must be a quicker way out of here than retracing our steps. Uh, let me see. Is that broiler here? Yep. Incendio. Akio. Are we ready? I really hope so. This is the one. I oh, know. Alright. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I mean, come on. Right. 
Uh, no way. Alright, uh, there you go. Nice. Wasn't so bad. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. Nah, I'm glad man. you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> up here, maybe? Oh, no. It's a chest. Hello, Hamora. Large table. Right, cool. Okay, this is not important, Crater. Come on. I mean, it's time to go up. Stones here. Yeah. We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. Wait. indeed. Wait, just get out of here, right? Like this, I guess. Yes, I mean, come on, let's go. A god. Dude, that was way too many. Can we please talk about what just happened? What? Now? I mean, we just... Uh, fine. What is it? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without Thanks, Amit. Without further ado, at you. <laughs> Bye, Amit. Thanks for your help. Damn. It's not like the others, huh? Been prying on some information that I can't give them, but hey, Amit is the best. Hey, Logok. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Wait, what? Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research and I know of the container. Ah, the reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but... I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, 
transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals. But the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Kioboralis. Damn, I did not expect that. Uh, it's fate that we should meet? Nah, I don't think so. I hope Professor Fitz. Albi? I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Uh. Alright, with Log God is done, it's time to head over to the map chamber I've been wondering you know why would goblin be wandless but they can still use magic like Natty did when she was in Wagadu oh some things are left to be unspoken of welcome but... back uh, hi sorry I was in my thoughts madam sorry Niam Fitzgerald hello professor I have news the goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. It sure. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. What? As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. <laughs> You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Alright, madam. Okay. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Should we meet him now? Right. Onwards to Professor Fake's office. <laughs> Holy juice plot. Huh. I wonder what it is. That's the name of the quest though. So are we gonna brew some poly juice? Yes, I guess. I guess. Hey Professor! Now here. Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it. Despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, 
It's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Damn, you're like a Batman, you know? Prepare everything. Nice. Oh, nice. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. What? Thus far, unsuccessfully. Are you I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude <laughs> coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. All right. Now to find the headmaster's house elf. Oh, this... Damn it. I can't make next time. Okay, now it's time to meet with... Madam Kogawa. No. Now it's time to meet Kogawa. Since I'm the headmaster. Hey. Hey. Go back to your class. Right now. Right this instance. Okay, enough playing around. Do you have a moment, Professor? Oh, Professor, shh. I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. <laughs> I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Yeah. What's up? You. Gareth. Uh, Mr. Weasley. What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I hear you're getting quite good at those concoctions you brew. I say, why don't you bring a sample of your next batch to my office? I'd like to give it a try. What? Uh, yes, sir. I will. Thank you, sir. Thank you. On your way, Mr. Weasley. I think I shouldn't talk to him. I think I made the situation worse. Oh, oh damn it. There's one for my diary. <laughs> Whoa, it's Christmas. Nice. I wonder if I can uh, get a present. I wonder huh? almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. What? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Headmaster. Here. What do Ominous. You want? Mr. Gaunt. Where do you think you're going? 
I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. This is fun. Oh, can you imagine the things Has that I can do? Have seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you... Professor, a word? Yes, Madam Kogoma. Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Uh, there will be a wise hit. Oh, yeah. What would shut? No, no. What would Professor Black say? Uh, that would be unwise or... Ah, please do. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... Parchment? Very well, I will. And with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Yeah, what maybe... Do to deserve him as a head? Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Okay, this is quite fine, but I'm guessing gonna land into a huge trouble soon. No, it's the headmaster, and he's coming this way. Okay, no, 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 no. I think that's enough, right? Yeah, it will cause a great confusion between them. <laughs> yeah, Quidditch. Quidditch Should is fine. Your mouth open. Where are your professor? A word. Please. Oh no, Professor Weasley. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about oh, nice. Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Uh, yeah. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <clears throat> Goodness, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... What, um, what happened? Th thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. What? Huh? What happened One here? Job. Leeway for Professor Fig? Oh no. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Oh no, are we supposed to give a speech here? Oh damn! Ahem! Scrub. Attention students! I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the elegant banners of Ravenclaw. I shall be taking no questions at this time, or ever. Nice! Hell yeah! Ravenclaw for the win, bitches! Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Yo, what Remind happened to me him? of the password to my office. Oh, 
but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. Uh. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Mm. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Oh, goodness. Ah. Uh... Wait, let me see. Purity. Yeah, maybe it's purity of blood because of that. That's why the Quidditch is fall. No, yeah, maybe it's purity of blood. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of pure. course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Uh, but you're here. <laughs> I like this. Potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yo, what's this? Ah, oh, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong side, wrong side. Come on. Is it? Yeah, it's good. Ah, oh, made it just in time. Okay. It's wearing off. <laughs> Man, I, I like this quest. Right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. No. Oh. What's this? Oh no. What a juice plot. Man, I like this quest. <laughs> we should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Guys, now is not the time. <gasps> Level Yes! Goodness gracious, what's this? Finally, I can equip that. All right, lever up. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Hello, Hamora. Fine. Hitmaster office. I've been there before. So let's see if we got a flu flame there. Oh goodness me! There's no flu flame there. Yeah. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. <laughs> nice. It work. All right. Okay. I got a bad feeling about this. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Oh, this is the room. Revelio. It's just all oh, level three. What about this? Can access that. Dark grey, alright. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Antechamber? Okay. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Cure four boils, one file. Okay. Where is it? Where's the antechamber? That must this? be the pedestal. The room is so small. Oh, whoa. we can we can well. Oh no. Okay, I know where where this is headed to. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. 
Im Auge. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. Yes, in this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. This is cool. A Grim Ripper. Uh, should we fight? Make your way through the town without being seen. Oh my goodness, I should have upgraded that. Run. We got this, we got this. Okay. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. Let's move while I can. Yep. Neve must be here somewhere. Neve. Oh, damn. I make a move, boy. I need to time this just right. Time what? Oh, goodness me. I see a staircase straight ahead. I move. No? Yes. Yes. What's this place? Oh shit! Okay, we're good, we're good. How was this place? Hogs meat? Uh huh? Honey, do yeah, it is Hogsmeade. A ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Now, what a great idea, huh? <laughs> it is, huh? Hogsmeade. What? This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. It was this. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. You're all right. Okay, now I guess. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Stay there, stay there. What's this? Oh no, that's people. Oh god, what is this? Okay, cool. Whoa. Oh shit, that's death. Nothing this way, but more danger. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Okay. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. This is the third trial. Goodness me, should I go now? Now's my chance. I know. Please don't turn, please don't turn. Holy crap. We're fine, we're fine. Oh. 
That's the way forward. Aye. Let's go. Mysterious cloak. <gasps> Wait. Can this be? Yes. I think I'm invisible. Okay. Sure. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yes, it got the invisibility cloak. I was wondering if we can use it. Haha! <laughs> they can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. What up, big boy? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Enough playing around. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? Eve? What's this place? It's like access in Crete. You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield oh. the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Is this the other elder one? <laughs> oh yeah, boys. Let's get ready to get battle. I've never felt such power. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I only got this. Fine. Fine. The pulse. All right, you guys want to fight? Bring it. I'm itching for a battle anyways. Okay. Get it? Huh? Okay. Okay, you guys are vicious. That it? Where is it? Is there more? Oh! Oh, that's more. Okay, fine. Give me a best shot. This sucks, I can't change my spell. Revelio. Oh, forget it. Better improvise, right? Adapt in the situation. Yep. That's what we are made of. That's what Creative Spectre is. Okay, uh, all right, all right. This is no, 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 no. This is way too much. This is way too much. Oh 
Oh goodness me. Descend Oh. oh goodness! Wait, 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 wait! Ah oh, goodness! Come on! You can do death. What? Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta get away first. Aim this troll. Death, that's it. That's enough, man. Ugh. And I use a sh ton of potion. Isn't this the deathly hello? What's the last one? Worn cloak. Okay, I can't remember. I can't use other spells. That sucks. A simple stone. This must be for me. from finished pass through the mourners ahead i can't believe she's dead what is dear what's happening neve <laughs> neve you died why we won't be the same without her 
Oh no. No, 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 no. I had enough. I had enough of you, Death. Neef? Wait. How did you die? You found me. But you cannot undo what has been done. Okay. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Hang on. Eve, I found you. What do you mean, shadow? But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Huh? What? Okay, this is getting weird. Remember that as you witness my memory. Alright, fine. Fine, Neve. Fine. But how did you die? I've got so many questions. It's time to see the pensive. So no other one. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. And saw what I did for my father. Oh, Neve, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Oh. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Okay, she's nuts. Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. She's drunk too much in power, right? Arrogant piece of... Hmm. Piece of... Hmm. Professor Fig, the things that I've seen, I would wish really shit upon you, man. Hey, Is it true. Has someone completed the first three trials? Yes. It is, and I have. But you are so young. I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. It was fascinating, but at the same time, it was disturbing as well, so... Fascinating. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power, and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, 
The knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Fine. Whatever, take it your time. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Got him drunk. Got him drunk. Damn, Professor Fick, you naughty boy. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. That's so sweet of you, man. Oh no. Oh, nothing? Okay. <laughs> okay. That is it for today. It was long and arduous. <laughs> I guess this is the end of the video. So, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. Do leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. It will help me tremendously. So, yeah. Stay tuned for more. And thank you. Have a good one, guys. See ya.